Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be reacting to my old photography. So I like to say I started photography when I was about 19 years old, just because that's when I got my first DSLR. But there was a very dark time before that where I was still taking and editing photos on my iPhone. And that's what we're gonna be exploring today. So the photos that I'll be exposing you to today are from 2012 to around 2013. The majority of these literally just don't exist. They're nowhere to be found on the internet, but I'll be bringing them to the surface today. What I actually did find was old screenshots from my Instagram at the time. We're still going strong with the borders, but what's really funny is that the profile picture that I had back then, that wasn't even me. Like, that's not my photo. I don't know who that was. Not me. So let's get into the actual photos. We're gonna be starting with this one. We got a picture of the beach, some waves crashing. The horizon line is just not, it's just a, just a little bit crooked. You know, didn't feel the need to straighten it, I guess, but um, we clearly cranked the clarity to 100%. Here we go again with the 100 plus clarity. Okay, I see you. Another horizon line that's not straight, but okay. Oh my God. And then over that sunset photo, we added a quote. It says, you'll never be as young as you are today. I mean, it's true. I didn't lie, but this font, I'm literally yelling. This font literally reminds me of Never Shout Never. Like it just screams 2012. Um, so clearly I took a lot of photos of myself and then edited them just a little too much. But um, I mean, if that was the look I was going for, I go for it. I really used every effect there was. I really went in. This one I'm actually screaming at. We're dropping the hottest mixtape of 2012. Parental advisory is, is warned here. Oh, okay, this one's low key kind of fire, not gonna lie. Um, we have the galaxy background, as tech pattern shirt going on. We have an iPhone in frame. And what's funny about this, I don't think that's my phone. I think I found that phone from the internet and then I just kind of like threw that in the photo. Okay, all right. The fact that I'm literally 18 years old and in college in this photo is funnier than the edit itself. That's all I gotta say. The black and white. I mean, the, I was here, I'm here for the black and white. This overlay is not that bad. I actually have the, like the, the face lined up nicely. I I don't know what to say about this one. So as you may know of Monsters and Men was popping back in 2012. And this is their album cover. What's funny is their horizon line isn't straight either, but I was definitely into their music back then. I was vibing, still am. And I was clearly inspired by the album cover because I decided to insert myself in the photo. So as we get into this next set of photos, you can see that I'm clearly moving on from that highly edited like selfie look and we're moving on to text overlays. I would find a reason to put a text overlay of a quote or a saying over any type of photo that existed. I can't believe this is real. Clearly at a party. We blurred out the cups though, don't worry. Don't lie to me, you would reblog this in 2013. So angsty. This one reminds me of what you see at the eye doctor. We have a nice vintage like dust overlay on top with like some green shadows. This one, like, A+, plus, not gonna lie. More text, more text, more text, more text. This is an upgrade. We decided to straighten the horizon line this time. We're learning. You can see where I'm, the gears are starting to turn, you know? Um, if anyone remembers the app Mextures, I clearly use that on this photo. I actually kind of like this one. Is that weird? If you didn't already have enough of the text overlay, I decided to draw my own and then put it over the photo. I did have music taste though. This one too, I also drew and then overlaid. Okay, so we're moving on to our next little phase of photography. We're moving into the 2013 realm here. And these are some photos that are actually still on my Instagram. So this next phase of my photography was super like emo and dark and like blue. So let's dive right in. So the first one that we're gonna get into right here. So this photo was, I feel like one of my first actual composites. We took this photo of my hand and then overlaid this photo of a jellyfish. And then I used a few different like overlays and dust filters to get the tones to match. And this one's not bad. Like this one, I mean, the quality isn't there, but the concept and the tones, definitely not bad. And then I did it again with this photo of my hands reaching out to the sky. I made the original image super contrasted. So that way I would be able to overlay a sky photo onto the back with a blending mode. And I was doing this all within iPhone editing apps. I'm pretty sure I was using Image Blender at the time. Fun fact, I literally still have that app and it comes in handy to be honest. Obviously there's some problems with this photo, but I was getting somewhere. So at this point, I think I was getting super into photography and editing with my iPhone that I wanted to make the jump to an actual DSLR camera. So this photo was shot with my first camera, which was the Nikon 5200, as well as the 50 millimeter F1.8 lens. As you can see within this next set, um, it's just myself in these photos. I don't think I was confident enough yet to ask anyone else to be in front of the camera. Um, and I was clearly into that super blue temperature. Everything was like negative 100 
on the temperature slider. All right, guys, and there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed me reacting to my old photography. What sparked this video was me coming across an old laptop that I found with literally all of these photos in it that I didn't even know existed. Um, and there's still a ton more to go through. So if you wanna see a part two, let me know. I honestly just love looking back at my old photos just to see where I started and where that actual passion like came from because I was just doing this for myself and I think that's something I have to remember sometimes. But with all of that, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.